What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today. I got a brand new video here for you guys. Another episode of Stoner Tips actually. Today we're going to be jumping on board with episode 112 of the Stoner Tips series. Today's topic, we're going to be covering stealing smoking equipment. All right. So if this video does help out or you do uh enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up button. Let's dive right on into it. So this is another requested topic that one of you guys have personally requested uh, me to make a video on. Now, personally, I really don't have too much personal experience going through this, but I can see how people might have a problem with this shit. So, if you don't know what I mean by that, it's uh, pretty much if you go around your squad and you have a grinder or you bring out a, uh, you know, a, a bowl or whatever the case is, something small that's personally yours and they steal it from you, okay? So, this this is the main thing I could tell you guys, man, is like, if you are around a group of people that like to do this shit, or your friends even like to do this shit for you, obviously it's going to be a lot of learning uh, experiences for yourself personally to understand who is your friend and who isn't. Because a lot of the times, man, I shrugged off my parents in high school when I was like, yeah, man, these are my friends, dude. I know, I know who I'm, you know, who's, who's fucking with me, who's not. And obviously my friends are going to be fucking with me. So I, little did I know in high school, I kind kind of really didn't have uh these people who I thought were my friends in high school they weren't my friends all right they would steal shit from me low key and it just was not okay at all like it was fucked up it was it was really fucked up i don't know but in the end this is going to be a learning experience for a lot of people either the the easy way or the hard way and for me it was the hard way like i've gotten iphone stolen um i've gotten bigger shit stolen from me rather than a smoking equipment but if you guys are experiencing getting smoking equipment stolen from your from you know bringing it around your your friends my number one recommendation is to keep it at your house um and don't let anybody over that you really don't trust i mean you could really it doesn't really matter if it's at your house because then you know for a fact that someone took it if you think that you lost it or you misplaced it and you went to a friend's house or you know a little party or something that's a little different because you you could easily bring up the fact that yeah this shit either i lost it or someone stole it and obviously on the bigger end someone probably is gonna steal it if they see it I can't really help you guys out too much on this topic it's more like a, a, a learning experience dude you're gonna have to learn who your friends are and who they aren't and it's a very hard process to to go about doing a good tip though I can give you guys is not spend too much money on these smoking equipments even if it's you know uh, you're looking at a $50 grinder which can hold you know seven G G's of weed or a $10 grinder which can only hold a half gram Why if you're on the the loose end of it and you are thinking about going out with your friends a lot and going to parties and shit you want to have this retinally available for you go ahead and invest the littlest amount you possibly can in whatever piece you want if you really want to go ahead and buy one of those plastic grinders which it doesn't even have a spot to hold it get those for like five six dollars and just invest in one of those and you can bring it around your squad so at least you have a little bit of something to grind your weed in you don't have to bring out a $50 bong every time you want to have a smoke session. I feel like if you're bringing around a bong, it should be relatively cheap. There's no need to bust out, you know, a super dope piece to smoke with your boys, especially if you're traveling with it. That's another thing you're going to want to keep in mind. But obviously you guys probably already all know about that shit. If I need to go more in depth about it later on, I will. It's kind of common sense though, but I can still cover it if you guys want me to. Stealing smoking equipment though is, is shitty, bro. It's so fucking shitty. I've personally never had that happen to me, but like I said, I've had bigger shit stolen. Like phones, fucking just crazier shit, way crazier shit. So it's fucked up. It's going to be a big learning experience for a lot of you guys. And I hate that people have to do that in this world like it's super fucked up that you know you you people who you think are your friends will just take shit from you without even giving two fucks and all the shit that you had to work for and everything it's fucked up bro there are some very shitty people in this world and they will disguise themselves super very like so good you you it takes such a trained eye to actually notice that shit because in in reality they'll be super nice to you and shit and then behind closed doors they'll fucking rob you you not rob you personally but steal from you which is you know that's even shistier bro I, if someone wanted to take my shit i'd rather have them rob me in person so i know exactly 
exactly what's up and not to fuck with you no more rather than take a little thing every time I hang out with you and, and you just smile in my face, you know, and think that we're fucking best friends. It's fucked up, bro. I really hope that that a lot of you guys can open your eyes to certain shit. If you guys feel like you are getting your smoking equipment stolen, grinders, bowls, whatever the case is, it's, it's very hard to tell, especially if you knew these people for years and you think they got your back. It's, it's a hard process to understand and learn, but you're better off just cutting out every single person you know for a fact that would do some shit like that to you. And it's probably going to be a lot of people, but at the same time, you won't even think that these people will do that to you. So it's, it's, it's a hard process, man. But if you are getting your shit stolen, obviously someone is a bad seed in your little click or your group. So you're going to have to keep, just keep an eye out, uh, alert some of your friends that you, I, I don't know, man, or maybe bring it up in a conversation. It's not some shit though. That's going to really ever go right. It's uh, if it keeps happening, man, I would just cut off everybody completely and just stick to yourself in the end, man. You guys only got yourself. So if you guys are getting your shit stolen and you go out, buy a new bowl every week and some, and you know, you, you, you think you lose it. It's probably not that it's probably someone just taking it and saying that you lost it. So very, very hard, uh, circumstance to deal with because you don't know who's doing it. You're around eight, 10 people every single, you know, week or 20 people a week just smoking with them. It, it's it's hard to pinpoint exactly who's the bad seed. In that circumstance, I would recommend just cutting everyone off, focusing a little more on doing yourself. And in that case, you won't ever have to fucking worry about anyone stealing your shit. Like that's, that's shady as fuck, dude. I, I never had none of my smoking shits stolen, but I could imagine if you guys are going through that shit, dude, it's rough. It's, it's, bu it's bullshit is what it really is, man. It's like nobody, I don't know why there's people like that in this world who do that, but, and they're really hard to, to pinpoint exactly who it is because you all, it's just, it, it's fucked up, dude, because somebody could just look you dead in the eyes and say that you're their, their, you know, you're their best friend and just talk a bunch of bullshit and then steal shit behind your back. So it's, it's fucked up. You can't really, you won't ever really tell unless the truth actually comes out and it's going to be a, a, an entire learning process from, from that. So in the end, man, I, I don't really know how much advice I can give you guys on this topic of stealing smoking equipment. If you guys are getting your shit stolen or people, if you are stealing shit though, man, you should really think about what you're doing though. Like your life and, and, and is, if it's really worth it in the end, stealing one of your boys fucking $10, $20 grinders, or, you know, a $50 grinder and be like, no, he could buy another one, bro. That's not the fucking point though, dude. The point is you, you took it and it's it's fucked up bro it's it, you're a fucked up person if you decide to do some shit like that or steal anything of your friends in general man it's man you just i really hope that they learn a lesson somehow dude because people like that really should they're toxic toxic people uh, do that shit dude and it's not healthy i really wish that they had a a, a thing to learn from bro and in the end man I, I don't really know what else to say in this video dude just keep your eyes open a lot more if you guys are going through this shit make sure you just trust nobody in the end dude trust absolutely nobody ever that's how it really should be unless it's actual blood family really trust none of your friends dude because these people probably will not be your friends years to come five ten years from now they will not be in your life so everything is temporary keep make sure you keep that in your mind as well and just keep it in your pocket at all times or in you know somewhere you know for a fact you have it on you and just be a little more careful around people and that's really all i need to need to say in this video that's all i really know what to say i don't really know what to say that's that's all i can say in this video so in the end man just just be safe with it always guys um and if you did enjoy this video or if you did take any of the tips into consideration smash the thumbs up button i'm gonna catch you guys very shortly for a brand new video follow me on instagram if you haven't already subscribe to the youtube channel if you guys are new and i'm gonna catch y'all like i said tomorrow for a brand new video so y'all stay safe stay savage stay low-key thanks for watching I'm out of here guys, adios.